Hi, everybody. Welcome to the U.S. Capitol. We're in Washington, where the Capitals are on home ice tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Capitals will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Moves it quickly over to Wilson. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Wilson. Carries the puck back inside his own end. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. Look out, here they come on the attack. Puck scooped up by Wilson. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Stones him on the one-timer. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Mulkins won it off the faceoff. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now he moves it quickly to Smith. Tries to get it to Graves. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. The Capitals are getting two minutes for elbowing. Pittsburgh's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert, move that puck quickly, and open up lanes. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Inside the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, denies him with the paddle save! Here comes the call from the official. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice. Four on four. You want to utilize north, south, east, west and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is gonna put some pretty quick players out there. And he denied that opportunity. And it's a quick pass to Ruino. And he takes a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Strong's got it across the line. Grabs the puck in the slot, denied by the goaltender. Jari's coming off a shutout performance and starts right where he left off in this game. That's a great save. Tries to feed it over to Strom. Poked away in the offensive zone by Mulkin. Slick feed. Handles the puck. Hard hit frees up the puck. The Capitals now have a short power play after the penalty expired. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a chance! And there's a great save by Chari. Pumped off the puck. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. tone at the beginning of the season, setting yourself up for success. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal here in the first, and perfect road approach, right? Silence the crowd, Cheryl. Well, yeah, and you gotta start with some energy, and you gotta get your lines into the game right away, and that's exactly what they did. They're like a wave of momentum, and they capitalize on their opportunity. And that's intercepted by Crosby. Pittsburgh's been working hard all night, 
James. They've been intercepting pucks in a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes the book, but still hangs on to the puck. Gets it over to Mantha. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Here's a blast! And stops that big bomb! The Capitals gain possession. Oh, it stops him again! Through center along the wing. Great poke by Rust. Angles it over to Graves. Lets the wrister fly. And he stopped that one. Slides the puck ahead to Oshie. The Capitals take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Here's a short pass to Malkin. Shot. That was amazing. What a save by Kemper. Quick pass to Malkin. Cutting to the slot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. The Kangs really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, to have the wherewithal to hold on to that puck, I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. Huge steal in his own end. Quick feed to Raquel. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Tease him up! And look at this, these fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And you got to embrace it when they're on their feet and support of you, because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it, you can tell that. Scratch! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Going well, back to evens, James, I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, Trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. This is just a great goal, James, and just reiterates that in today's game, the hands are separate from the body. He's stumbling and still has his eyes on the puck, not in the greatest position, but manages to get a shot off that beats the tender. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Patterson's got it against the boards. And they keep the pressure on. Oh, oh you got to love the effort as he blocks that. Picked up along the boards by Obey Kubel. Melanston's taking it from his own end. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Loses his balance on the play. Puck sent in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Jari's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Kemper's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Crosby's beauty backhand zone ability is that wicked backhand shot he uses to score. Ovechkin's known for his 1T zone ability, and his teammates love setting him up for that lethal one-timer when on the attack. Now these are impact players, and I'm expecting one of them to leave their mark on this one here tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. With possession along the wall. Washington's got control of it now from their own end. Great pressure on the offensive end by Crosby. He carries the puck up along the wing. Pittsburgh's through center and now in the offensive end. Washington's got the puck along the wall. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's the pass. Stones up with the blocker. Here's the pass in front. Dishes it off again here. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Pushes it across to Crosby. Moves it to Rust. Takes the shot. Stones him in front. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Eller 
Rice won the draw. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Washington's won the draw. And he takes the dish. Moves it quickly over to Wilson. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Joseph. The Penguins have it from their own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Carter. Moves the puck. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Van Riemsdyk's got the puck along the wing. Quick pass to Wilson. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Washington's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Obey Kubel's moving it ahead. He grabs the puck here on the point. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. And now they're in front, James, and that has some energy. You know that the first few strikes will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Washington's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Stop by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Rips it. Denies him again. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the late goings of the period, Washington's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. McMichaels won the faceoff. Quick feed to Barabari. The Capitals are on the attack. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Shot! Big stop by the goaltender right in front. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Stupendous blocker save by Chari. The Capitals get a hold of the puck in the open ice. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Great positioning by the defender. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here's a shot. Gives up the body for the block. Slides the puck over. To the low slot. And the shot up. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Faceoff coming up, and you can tell there's still a little frustration in their faces after that non-goal call. The Capitals get a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it to town. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Capitals get a hold of the puck. Nice connection on the cross-ice pass. And he gives it over to Milano. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. The Penguins gain control of it. Moves it up. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. He scores! Jake gets him with the finish. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender.
here in the later stages of this period. It's all tied up. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Are you kidding me? Two goals in 10 seconds? Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, talk about putting your opponent on their heels. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Pittsburgh's gone up by one after that goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. You got a little bit of jump to your step. You're more confident. Now you got to attack. You got to push when your opponent's down. Washington's on the attack. Now a quick pass to Ovechkin. Just gets enough to keep it out. Nice pass back. Washington's got the puck here in the open ice. Strom's got it in the defensive end. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. And he slides it quickly to Rust. He takes the feed from the left side. The Capitals gain possession along the wall. Here we go, odd man rush here. Love save and an easy one at that. Jari's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Puck possession so critical, another face-off coming up here. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. Passes it over to Joseph. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And he slides it quickly to Ruino. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Passed up ahead. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he thought here, James. With the pressure coming in on him, he just releases the puck quick and he misses wide. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Guaranteed your seat for the upcoming playoffs. All the box office for more information or check out the and we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Kemper's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Crosby's going to play it to the corner. Couldn't catch up to that pass. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Penguins have it behind the net. Gessel's got it along the boards. Poked away in the neutral zone by Carlson. The Capitals move the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Comes up with a monster save in front. Moves it quickly over to Strom. Quick feed down low. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. They've got numbers here. The Penguins have the puck now. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Slides the pass over to Mantha. Takes the puck deep inside his own end. Right up the gut, here they go. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't get it to go. The Capitals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Raquel. Puck picked up by Sandine. And now he moves it quickly to McMichael. Gets it back. Across the line from center. Washington's got it from behind the net. And that's blocked in traffic. Picked up along the wall by Pacioretty. Punked away. Stopped by the goaltender. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. We're still in the early stages of this period. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Puck battle along the boards. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. The Capitals played along the boards. 
Oh, what a blocker stop by Chari. Washington's got the puck. And it's a quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. And he loses control here. And the puck's kicked free. Grabbed along the boards by Van Riemsdyk. And here's the pass to Tau. Van Riemsdyk stick handling in his own zone. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. The Penguins look to start the transition game. The Capitals take over on possession. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. And now it's over to Molenston. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. There's the whistle, we got an offside. The Capitals trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Washington's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. And now it's grabbed by Obey Kubel. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. Let's get the call here. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. The Penguins once again send out their power play unit. Can't get frustrated with their power play stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Great read in the offensive zone by Obey Kubel. Answered the call on that play. Oh, he got the look that he wanted, James. It was right in his wheelhouse. He fired it, the one-timer came, and man, did the goaltender make an even better save. Slides it up to Malkin. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Stars! And prior to puck drop, Pounder, we talked about this being a big one. That's 200. He was sitting at 199, and we knew it. It was in our notes, James, and he hits number 200. Quiet and consistent throughout his career. Congratulations. If I'm on the other team, James, I do not know how this happens. I mean, it's a simply a lack of awareness. I mean, when he is on the ice, you know that he is looking for that long stretch pass. He executes on it all of the time, and no mistake this time either. He hits it perfectly, and then the finish ensues, and they get the goal. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Penguins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck the pass. Here they come. Washington's looking to break out. The Capitals gain the zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. And he takes the feed. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here they come on the attack. A chance on the redirect. He scores! It's showing off his skill set. We well, don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Capitals have come to life here in the second. Cheryl, what's your assessment now? Well, I like the way they've played. They've had a ton of possession. They're just sticking with the game plan, and they get rewarded with that goal. From the neutral zone now. The Capitals looking against the half wall. Moves into the slot. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. Quick pass to Logan. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? There's another stop. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. The Penguins gain possession. Slid 
Here's a puck down low. Picked off. Washington's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Reaches out and uses the stick. Feeds it over to Bemstrom. Quick feed to O'Connor. Grabs the puck. Hard blast. Denies him. He got all of it. The Capitals have it now. Washington's ready to go on the attack. Feeds it down low. Moves it to McMichael. And that carries right off the max. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Well past the midway mark of this period, Pittsburgh's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Rust's lugging the puck. A chance in front! And that chance is blocked! Moves it quickly over to Carlson. Into the attacking end. Quick shot! Oh, what a chance! He came so close to putting it in! James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. Now a quick pass to Gensel. Man, has he ever been dangerous tonight? He's got two goals, and he's looking for his third. Carlson's got the puck in his own zone. Taken by Ovechkin. There's a chance in front. Another pass. And that doesn't connect. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Passes it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Quick shot, scores! I love that he's on the attack with this shot. He's got his head up, and he's not just shooting to find a way through to the net. He's shooting to score here, but he recognizes how he's going to get it there, opens the lane, and most importantly, the goaltender can't track the puck because he can't find it. The Penguins have extended the lead to two now here in the second. Yeah, and sometimes as an athlete, you take a bit of a breather here, and sometimes that frees you to continue to play an attack, but sometimes it leads to complacency. You don't want to give any edge to your opponent when you have them down. Melanston's on the attack of the offensive zone. Taking along the wall. Big time save! Oh, oh, the the play! Wow! As a true competitor say, just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Oh, what a denial by Kemper! Can't hang on after that hit. Sends the pass over. They've got some momentum here! Time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Washington's trailing at the midway mark of this one, but it's not for a lack of scoring chances. All sorts of shots, just no finish. The Penguins win the draw. And he takes the feed. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Kemper's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Capitals have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to McMichael. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. Well, he was kind of using the stick as a weapon there, James. He was hacking and whacking, and these are the types of calls that need to be made because they can result in an injury. Wilson's team is trailing, and he's out there looking to make a difference for them, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get things going offensively. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ovechkin. Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. 
Jari's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. He's got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Washington's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Blocked in front. Eller's looking pretty banged up out there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish the shift. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Good hit on the play. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. Across the line. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Here's a shot. Makes the save with the glove. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. And they move the puck out of harm's way. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Big time glove save! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Eller's in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He's injured somewhere in the shift. Join his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. zone by Latang. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Passes it to Milano. They've got an on that rush. Shot blocked. Wow. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass and out of the zone. I don't mind this play at all. And some coaches will say there's no creativity to it, James. But I say it's to safety. The puck is out. Late goings of this period. Pittsburgh's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Washington's won the faceoff at center. The Capitals played along the wing. And that's knocked away by Carlson. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Denied by the defender. Nice block. And he's knocked off the puck there. And it's kicked away. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Carlson. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Oh, and it's another save on the play. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Washington's got to find ways to finish because they continue to trail here late in the second. Malkins won the draw here in their own zone. The Penguins are across the line and into the offensive end. Moves it to the middle, and that shot's blocked. Tries to get the puck to Carlson. Poked away at center ice. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Way too much congestion blocks that. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Eller's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. He just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well liked too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Scooped up along the wall by Strong. And he connects with the long bomb. Great poise here as he gets it back. Rust's got the puck. Center and feed. And that's intercepted. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. 
gaining momentum along the wing. Puts it on net, and that goes off a player. Slides the puck down low. The Capitals have it behind the cage. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Pittsburgh's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Quick pass to Malkin. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Players like this are so difficult to knock off the puck and defend James. That low center of gravity, strength, good core, and finding a way to hold the puck, get their feet moving, and make a play with it. Extremely dangerous, and the goal is a result. Washington's looking to continue putting more and more shots on net, but they're going to have to finish one of these chances as they trail in the third. Quick feed to Carlson, and that's blocked. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Moves it to Pacioretty. Sends a pass over. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. That knocks him off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Raquel. Fires it with the stop. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the puck's knocked loose. Can't get a hold of that pass. Scores! He put it in himself. He tried to make the save. I don't think he knew where it was. Well, the position is tough enough, and, and then you have these goals that wind up in the back of the net. He deposited it himself, and that's a real tough one to handle. This next shift, this next save, it's huge. Pittsburgh's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Fires it on net, and that's broken up. Milano's last play was impressive, James. I mean, he's falling. He's almost on one foot. Incredible balance, but more importantly, the awareness to know exactly where he was passing and distributing the puck. Carter's got it in the offensive zone. Goes right to the crease. The Capitals take possession in the defensive end. Great reach with the poke check by Graves. And that's blocked from someone in front. Played big in the moment there. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Here he is, wrists it on net. Only just not enough of that to keep it out. Moves it quickly over to Sandin. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Chari. Okay, here we go, two on one. Offside the call as the official stops the play. Washington's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Pittsburgh's won the draw. They take possession here in the open ice. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Strom. Quick pass to Wilson. 
And somehow he hangs on. Moving into the attacking zone. Solid kick to slow him down. Rocks him. With the blast. Oh, what a close save by Kemper. Pick up some momentum again here as the face-off is ready to go. Washington's going to start with the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Pacioretty. The easy glove save by Jari. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Washington's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. McMichaels won the draw here in the offensive zone. Carlson's taking it from his own end. Washington's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Picked up along the wall by Edmondson. And that's off a stick. Takes a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Takes the pass. Moves it to Raquel. Here they come on the rush. That goes wide. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. Puck grab by Van Riemsdyk. Slides it diagonally to Pacioretty. Moves around along the half wall. Off his stick, just wide. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Washington's got the puck along the boards. Van Riemsdyk's got it in the defensive end. Here's a shot, makes the save. Jari's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Washington's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Answered the call there. Fires it! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Puck scooped up by Ovechkin. Washington's moving it along the wing. Oh, make a change! Centering pass! And that's stopped! Calgary's coming up next on the schedule, and these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that one. The Capitals win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. And he shuts the door again. Tang's moving the puck through his own zone. Dumps it in. The Capitals gain control of the puck. Feeds the puck to Ovechkin. Here's a chance! Torque on that stick. I mean, imagine if we got a freeze frame, it would have been bent, almost looked like it could have snapped in half off of that quick release snapshot. Washington's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in, were ever probably wondering where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Piece of that one to keep it out. Handles it along the blue line. Lays out to block the shot. Pittsburgh's been so impressive tonight, James. I mean, it's been a collective and consistent effort in all three zones. Scores! Looking like me grabbing leftovers all over that rebound, and they put it home. This is just a fantastic play on the rebound, just showing great hands in tight to be able to catch and release that puck high and get a goal. It's been a pretty 
that's the reason why you took a penalty. sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Oh, break out the ice packs. He lays out to block that shot. Ow! Puts it in deep. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Crosby's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And he makes the save on that play. Kempers made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Washington's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Molenstein. Drives it to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Getzel's gonna play it against the half wall. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Sent into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Achari. Turn that chance aside. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Moves it quickly over to Achari. The Capitals have possession shorthanded. Oh, she's carrying it ahead. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Achari's stick handling in his own zone. Bear standing up, ready to go. The Penguins have it in the offensive zone. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Capitals still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Washington's won the faceoff and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. Along the half wall with the puck. For point blank! Oh, big time save by Kemper! Washington's had more shots on goal, but yet they run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Washington's looking to break out. Sends it over to McMichael. And cuddles that one up in his chest. And we're gonna get a whistle here. Who had the edge? Carlin's standing by with the answer. Crosby's been terrific, using his zone ability to help him generate scoring chances, and he's been rewarded. He's definitely got the edge in this one. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. The Capitals have it from their own end. And it's a quick pass to Strom. Handles the puck at the point. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Pittsburgh's in now. Moves it in front. And that's blocked in front. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. The Capitals move the puck in the defensive zone. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Gensel. Shot! Gets a glove on it to make the stop. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, and he just puts it wide in it. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping.
much hurry. He's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Farrakhan has got it along the wing. And a little physicality ends that threat. Quick pass to Achari. Shot! The nice of it front. Quick feed to Raquel. And that's deflected off someone in front. From Cinder, they get into the attacking area. Dow's got it in the corner. Moose to Edmondson. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Takes a shot. And he had the answer on that one. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Penguins continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. The Capitals gain possession along the wall. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The Penguins take it along the wall. Comes up with the stop. The Capitals have it against the wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Puck picked up by Ovechkin. Washington's got it in their own zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. That's blocked by Jari. Goaltender covers up with a stoppage in play. The Capitals are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. 